Hello and welcome to Chasing RV Sunshine. On today's RV Life Vlog, we are taking you to the best places for cocktails, beer, and views while we explore Galveston Island. And don't forget to stick around for the bloopers as we always have them. Hello, welcome to Chasing RV Sunshine. Joel, Deb, and Maya here. We are a full-time couple with a spoiled dog that has downsized, sold everything, retired, and moved to full-time RVing. We are new to the RV lifestyle and are happy to take you along for the ride with us as we feel like we are living in the book RVing for Dummies sometimes. There is nothing better than the feeling of freedom RVing brings us. We love RV travel and feel RV love every time we head to a new location and show you how we travel in our RV. On my way down memory lane, you and me long time ago, and we were teens with tremendous dreams, always playing king and queen. We had set our minds to leave, face the world on wheels, cross the So we traveled to Galveston Island, Texas. And we stayed at the Jamaica Beach RV Resort, which is just west of Galveston. It's a wonderful place to stay and we highly recommend it. We found numerous things to do in the area and we found a really cost saving thing to do was to go out during happy hour. We found this is the best way to adventure out, not only be able to see some local sites and find some amazing views, but we also were able to save money because it was happy hour and drinks were normally half price and we'd end up getting an appetizer. And it wasn't as crowded. We did find that we were in Galveston during off season as well. Right. Um, we were there for the month of December and it was very nice and less crowded. Um, we don't really prefer to go out at night. We're more of an afternoon people and like to be back to the RV before dark. Um, just because we're not familiar with areas and don't want to be out on the roads. One of the first places we went to was the Galveston Island Brewery. What a great stop. It was. We went there once with Maya and we also were able to meet up with our friends Scott and Allison who are from Jarhead and Ginger. And if you haven't seen their um, videos and their YouTube channel, we highly recommend going and checking them out. They are quite fun and we really enjoy their company. Yep, and we took a nice brewery tour. It was very informative. One of the areas that we found to be quite enjoyable and we hung out there several times was the Strand. Yes, it's a great place uh, kind of in downtown Galveston Island. Um, it's known for its uh, shops and their little bars. Um, good place to walk around. Yes, you can walk around um, throughout the area and you're allowed to have open containers that you can buy from the storefronts. There's also some really nice rooftop bars that you can sit at and enjoy the views of the area. Yep, and it's really close to um, the marina where the uh, Fisherman's Wharf is at. Uh, while you're on the Strand, it's uh, mostly people walking around, going in and out of shops. Uh, most of the shops sell beer and frozen drinks, and like Deb said, you can walk around the street with them. Um, there's a lot of nice nostalgic stores to go in and out of, and I uh, found a great sp spot to find um, saltwater taffy. He did. He found his candy store, which you also could see in another video we did on dealing with holiday blues while traveling. Well, today's Sunday and we're here at the Texas Tail Distillery for their happy hour. And of course, I'm having an old fashioned. I am also, and they're delicious. We're with some friends. They're having some samples. <laughs> 
They make uh, vodkas, whiskeys, and moonshine here, so we're going to give them all a try. The next place we went was the spot, uh, which is right along the main road that runs along the beach. It's got a great view of the water. It does. It's a little confusing as it's five bars in one, but the staff there help point you in the right direction to which bar you actually want to go at. They have great happy hour prices, um, and it starts at three o'clock every day of the week. Yep, and like Deb said, they have five different places, and, and when you go into the different one, they may or not, they may or may not serve the drink that you want. Um, one's a specialty a beer spot, one's a margarita spot, so you want to check into where you want to go. We did go upstairs thinking it looked like a cool spot to sit, however that was a rum bar and we were actually looking for beer that day, so we ended up downstairs and we were with our friends, um, Scott and Allison, once again, from Jarhead and Ginger. You might see a theme here. <laughs> yeah, it was a really nice spot with uh, great views um, right along the water. Another really nice, great spot we stopped at was Sharky's Tavern. Yes, and we ended up meeting the actual yeah. owner, and he was incredibly nice and told us the history, um, and even explained how a mural on the wall was actually him and his wife on their motorcycle, um, depicted as sharks, of course. Yeah. yeah, and while we were in there, he was uh, telling us about how great the pizza was, so uh, we came back another time and tried it out, and it was absolutely fabulous. The only problem was, is we were with some friends, and forgot to film that, so we apologize. We promise we're gonna get better and start filming some food as we do eat. <laughs> yes, we do. One of the other great places we stopped at was the Beerfoot Brewery. Yes, they don't actually make their own beer there. However, they are a full bar and they have great views of the area while you look out, while you sip on your drinks, sitting inside. Yeah, they have a great variety of um, other beers from all over the place um, and the people in the wait staff are very helpful in helping you choose something you're going to love. Yes, we went there twice with two different sets of friends while we were there and each time it was incredibly enjoyable. Absolutely. Another gem we found which was just kind of west of um, the main spot of Galveston and heading towards Jamaica Beach RV Resort was Woody's Bar right on the water. What a great place. Oh my god, amazing views and we sat outside and had a fabulous time, just the two of us. Um, we did have to come back twice um, on the same day as the first time we were there, they were closed. Well, they weren't really closed. It was a Sunday. Um, we had checked online and they had opened at 10. So we got there about 11 or 11.15. And the gal said, well, I can't serve you alcohol till noon, but you're happy to, you're welcome to have a seat uh, right out there and watch the water. Well, that didn't make much sense to us. So we left and ran a bunch more errands and came back later in the afternoon. So one place that we found that we absolutely loved, we ate there several times, but not only that, we went out and had cocktails with our friends, Scott and Allison, again, um, was the Fisherman's Wharf. We are sitting at the Fisherman's Wharf, and this is an amazing place to sit and enjoy the afternoon. Had a great, um outside seating area that overlooked the water. Um, there was a bunch of cruise ships that would come in and out if you're there at the right time, so that was fun to look at. Also, there was a, a $40 million yacht that was sitting right there, which we talk about and give you the lowdown on our video once again that we did for the Holiday Blues. Yep, and if you're sitting outside, make sure you're watching out for the dolphins. There's plenty of them swimming about. We are at Devil in the Deep Brewery 
and we're going to say that this is definitely a place if you're in Galveston that you need to check out for adult beverages. They have a great selection of beers and I found one that's based out of New Orleans that is a coffee stout and it is delicious. Absolutely have loved this place. The vibe here is fun and they're dog friendly. They have been brewing beer since 2018 and everything that you can purchase here that's on tap is actually brewed right here. I'm drinking the City Abstract. City Abstract. We were just driving and talking about how gorgeous um, to drive down in Galveston is and what a difference between this and Gulf Shores. Gulf Shores had a bunch of really tall condominiums that would block the ocean views. Galveston, you're not finding that. It's absolutely gorgeous to drive along this. We've got the rooftop open for the sunroof, windows down, and we are cruising. Yeah, it's really nice to have the beach, then the road, then the condos, so you can drive down the road and get nothing but sea views. It's absolutely gorgeous. I hear a little wind blown, but we're also blessed by some great sunshine. Loving it. Much better than being in the snow. All right, so one of the other great spots we found was the Tipsy Turtle. Yep, it was just in between Jamaica Beach and Galveston. It's right on the water and it has some amazing beach views. Yep, it's got a great deck out back to overlook the water. And one thing is you do have to walk up to the bar and get your own drinks and bring them back to your table, but that's no big deal. And they have some great food we're here. We did not have any, but the menu's right there hanging on the wall. And uh, you can also get one from the bartender. Uh, some other places that we did go and we do recommend, however, we forgot to film as we were too busy eating and drinking and talking. Yep, was the West End Marina. It was really nice. It's actually a, upstairs is the Marina restaurant and downstairs is the bar. And you can sit and look at the water and it was really pretty. And we had a really good time with our friend Scott and Andrea from Wisconsin that came down to visit. And we found out that Scott's a real huge fan of onions and he actually ate shrimp nachos that was full of onions and didn't find out it was full of onions until after the fact when we told him. Yep, and the bar had a lot of great TVs if you're a sports fan. Yep, that's a, that's a, that's a fun place to stop. Another one that also needs to be put on your list is the VFW in Galveston. Yep, on Tuesday nights when we went there they have a burger special that is out of this world. Um, you got to remember that it's very busy because of the special and that it's all run by volunteers, so be patient. The nice thing about it while we were waiting for our burger was we talked with some of the local vets and most of the places that we've named here on this video came from recommendations from them. So it's well worth stopping in there, having great conversations with local vets. Can't beat that. Nope. Enjoyed the place and we'd definitely go back. So now I hope you enjoyed all of our stops for cocktails, beer, and views. Um, if you know one that we missed, please make sure you put that in the comment below as we like to hear from the Chasing Harvey Sunshine community as places to go. And we do need to thank our friend Bill um, that has been watching us, that sent us ideas for San Antonio and the Fredericksburg area as well. We're looking forward to seeing them. So thanks, Bill. Remember, stick around for the bloopers because we have plenty of them. Yep, and here they are. See where we're from? Yeah, I, yeah I know. I had to look to <laughs> see where we were. <laughs> Dude, you join the Black Eye Club. Yeah, yeah everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my life. This camera stuck in your face all the time. Did you get that? Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs>
Maya wants to remind everyone to make sure you hit that thumbs up if you like the video. Leave us a comment below and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so. Remember, life is about moments and not things, and you can always create your own sunshine. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.